okay hello everyone welcome again and i'm going to show you i'm going to continue the project on creation series so this is this is the fourth video so you have seen the first video how can we install the jdk and the continue series you have seen how to install the id as a sts tool and how to import the project in that id so we have finished this the last so i'm going to can configure in this video the database so how can you configure the database in the next video we have we will see how can we configure the server so let's come on the database thing so just we as we are using the mysql in our every project so the very first step will be download the complete mysql setup so you just need to click on this link when you click on this the link it will redirect you on a drive just click on this download button and just click on the download anyways once you will hit on this button it will download it in our file so i merge the complete setup of required mysql things in this rar so i'm not going to download it so i have this already so just right click on this and click on the extract here once you click on the extract here the file is unzip you will check this kind of folder here so you need to look here for the mysql installer community 5.6.25.0 so just right click just double click on this and the installer is going to be ready for you you will get the pop-up box here just click on yes and it will just take some time to execute the next pop-up is there so you can see the installer is ready just click on the checkbox and click on the next click on the next default option will be the developer so now do not click on the execute button just click on the next and yes and then you can see all the required things just click on the execute so it will take some time to process like a step by step all the required things will be installed like the very first you can see the master server 5.5.6.25 is going to install in your machine so it's done the next thing will be master notifier so in if something is not installed properly you don't need to be worried so the main thing you need to focus is that mysql server only so it should be installed necessarily so like this is going to fail so i do not need to worry about this so we can skip this so let's wait to finish the process and if it takes a few minutes So it will be the combo video, so how to install the MySQL, how to set up the MySQL and how to import the database, project database in this uh, MySQL. So the, all the required thing is installed and click on the next, click on the next again and you can see the developer machine, the port number should be free at that time, so it's using the port number 3306, so do not change the port because in the project also we are using the same port. So the ports should be 3306 click on the next and remember the password we are using in the project is root r double o t and all the letter will be in a small so r double o t so i'm also using the password here as a root so you can remember the password root this is the database password for all the projects so at the time of configuration your database you have to keep the same password here so click on next click on next and execute now it's going to execute your server it's going to start so, so starting the server you can see the notification here from the windows service list change and new service added it added it's called mysql 56 so it's done now click on the finish again click on the next and you can see the user is root and the password is also root and click on the check you can see the green icon and connection is successful click on the next Again, run the server. And stopping server, click finish. And now you need to cross this button and build. Now look for the MySQL workbench here. You can see I'm looking for the MySQL workbench. I'm searching, but I'm not getting. If you are getting, uh, 
it will be okay you can run this but if you are not getting here so you just need to run this mysql workbench from here and you need to install workbench also simply click on next 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 install it will be some time it will install by default so just before install this file you have to search here for the mysql workbench if you are not getting this you can run this file This is a uh, I you can see the GUI of database, so it will help to uh, it will help to um, operate operate perform uh, perform the operation with your database to deal with better database. So this is, I'm not going to force you to use Microsoft work events. You can use uh, the SQL Yoga also and any other ID if you want and it's done click on finish and now look for the mysql workbench mysql workbench you can see it here so just launch this and once you launch it will open first time like this you can see the local install mysql 56 here the user is root and the local host 3306 is a uh, root, uh, port number just double click on this and enter the uh, password here will ask for the password but right now it's not asking because I already provide some password here so if it's ever a pop-up will appear and it asks for the password just enter the root which we have provided the time of configuration now uh, we'll continue this video and see how to import your project database in this MySQL so if you see and uh, our project which was I think um, which was on the desktop Java portal in this project you can see the Java portal SQL this is the database file for this project so we have imported the project already in the ID STS and Eclipse you can say and now it's time to import the database so just again switch your uh, MySQL work events go into server and click on the data import and select the configuration file and you can go where your database is there so my database file is there in the desktop java project portal zip job portal select this file click open so make sure you are using the self-contained file so this pop-up is checked and click here in the corner bottom corner this is start import and it will take a few seconds so it's done the process is completed now you need to refresh your database from here just click on this you can see the job portal database is here so you can see the user table first to log in, in the house okay. so the database configuration is done make sure you are using the database password as a root and the username as a root because in the project also we are using if you want to see the password in that project so just go inside the ssc main resource go job portal bundle and you need to open this system dot properties file so you can see this is the configuration file so in this configuration file you can see the database password is root and the username is root and we are using the localhost portal 3306 and here is the project uh, database name so make sure you are using this so the database configuration is this done id installation is done project import is done and the database import is done in the next video you will see how to import the last thing which is called server and how can run the project thank you so much